All right, welcome back. We are now in exercise number two for SOLIDWORKS 2014 Advanced Edition. This session, we're just going to be going over exercise number two and the different things that we'll be using exercise number two. For example, let's get started. Now, this is going to be a vase that we're going to be making. Now, that might look like it's uh, multiple parts, which it is, but it's still only one part. Now, this exercise number two is going to be called exercise two final. And it might look a little bit different than this because we're going to start doing the exercise in the next session. And then in the end of that session, I'll save it. And it might look a little bit different than this, but basically we're aiming for the same uh, shapes. Okay. We're not going to have a drawing for this. So we're not really following a drawing when we're making this. I'm just going to show you how to create this or something that looks very much like it and then save it in the last session. So for uh, to begin with, if you come over here on the left side to your manager tree, you're going to see a loft. So we've created this vase right here, the biggest uh, part of this uh, vase uh, using the loft. If you notice right away, when you click on loft, you're going to see that it has four sketches. Okay, SOLIDWORKS will highlight the sketches for you that are part of that loft. So if you expand the loft, you're going to see four sketches. So there's one, which is at the bottom right here, two in the middle, two inches apart, three, it's four inches above it. And then five is one inch above that one. Okay. So those are going to be your four different sketches. Now, if you notice that they're on different planes, they're not next to each other. They're on, they're basically parallel to each other, but they're on different planes. And if you notice over here under the origin, we've created three planes to create those sketches on. So that's one thing we're going to do. We're going to create a few more planes in this uh, next session to create those sketches on them. And then we're going to be connecting all of them by using the loft feature. Okay. Next up, we're going to do a shell, which is shelling the inside of the vase. All right. And shell is exactly what it is. It's under features over here. And it's under this uh, feature right here under shell. It looks like a box with an empty on the inside. And that's exactly what it does. It shells the inside of an object. Okay. And we'll learn how to use the shell feature over here. Next up, we're going to learn a face fillet. Okay. And I'll show you what a face fillet is. Because in this uh, exercise, you can do a fillet in a few different uh, ways, but a face fillet is a little bit different and it uses two surfaces and we'll go over that at that time. Then we're going to be creating a plane. Okay. So this plane is going to be also parallel to the, to the bottom plane right here to the bottom of the vase. But when I say bottom plane, it's still going to be the top plane. It's still called top plane over here, but it's just at the bottom of the vase. So don't get that confused. Okay, so that plane is going to be right down here and this is what's going to help guide our sweep. Okay, so we're going to be creating a sweep boss. That's going to, we're going to learn how to do this over here with uh, this handle by creating this handle with a sweep boss. Okay, we're going to learn how to create that with the, uh, creating points and the spline. Okay, so we're going to use points and then we're going to use the spline to create this feature right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a sweep cut. So we've done a sweep boss base before, but we've never done a sweep uh, cut before, swept cut. So we're going to do basically the same shape that we have over here, but we're going to use uh, a cut. So we're going to cut the, uh, a little section on the inside. So this, the inside of this feature right here is actually hollow. Okay. And then we're also going to mirror this feature all the way to the left side over here when we're done. Okay, so this way we'll have two handles, a way to pick up the vase, uh, basically a sec and another way to pick up the vase if you want. Okay, so we're going to learn all of that in this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. In our next session, we'll start by creating our sketch for the vase. 